What's up, Thai Cat fans? You know, for this episode of Beyond the Stripes, I thought we should switch things up a little bit and do a meet and greet with Thai Cat Center Mike Filer back in both of our hometowns in Brantford. Hi, Mike. Great breakfast spot. Where are we? We're at the best place in Brantford, Angels, Angels Diner. <laughs> Alright, time to order. Here we go. For eggs and bacon, crispy bacon, over medium eggs. And I'll do the right thing. We pick Angels. Angels is a big part of my upbringing. Probably one of the best restaurants in Brantford for uh, good hearty breakfast. Been here many times. Growing up playing hockey, used to come here every Saturday and Sunday. So definitely a uh, go to spot when you're in the Brantford area. Go time. breakfast we're gonna go check out where Mike used to play when he was a Brantford bison back in the day Mike breakfast lunch or dinner what do you prefer uh, breakfast I'm not really a pancake or waffle or uh, crepe uh, yeah or what do you call the other stuff French toast. Oh, no French toast. Mm -hmm. I put uh, ketchup on my French toast. Uh, reach out if you do that too. This is, my, this is where uh, my elementary school is. Can you tell us what it was? Oh gosh. Yeah, it's all boarded up now. This is a call Fairview. It was a French immersion school. So you can speak French? Je peux parler français un petit peu. Oui. No. Okay, so <laughs> hamburger versus hot dog. Hamburger any day. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I mean, it's between two pieces of bread, so... Yeah, but the bread isn't cut in half. It's still attached. Blue cheese or ranch? Ranch. <laughs> Does Luke Tasker actually have a voice of an angel? Luke, Luke doesn't understand how good his voice is. To answer your question, he does have a voice of the angel. Can you compare him to someone? Uh, it's very, uh, he's got a very, like, his own sound, his own distinct um, sound, so... I don't think I could compare them to you. You just have to come listen to us uh, play live. Like my favorite all-time movie is Dazed and Confused. Yes. You just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. That is the best soundtrack ever. Great soundtrack ever, yeah. Do you have pink pants like Matthew McConaughey? But on the other hand, man, I just soon keep working. Keep a little change in my pocket. No. The, 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 the lineup in that movie is pretty stacked. Though. Right? Can you make any um, impersonations? Just, I... My big thing lately has just been my English accent that I've been doing. Hello, hey mate! Hello, hey Mike! How we doing? Who is the funniest guy on the team? You know, obviously Simone's got a personality like none other. And I mean none other. My boy Filer, they couldn't yeah. come through him. Next question. <laughs> if you could invite three people over for dinner or a jam session, living or dead, who would they be? So that's a tough one. Greg Allman would be one. Greg Allman would be one. Uh, Stevie Ray would be another big one. You know what I'd love to do is jam with the boys from Monster Truck and have them make some great music. So you should invite them over. It's a work in progress. <laughs> scariest movie you've ever seen? When I was a kid, one of the scariest movies I, I remember as a kid was the, the old It. Ooh, yeah, yes. Like when I was oh, yes. Yeah. They float. Actual. That that scarred me too when yeah. I was little. Cause I'm thinking clown can't be that bad. Yeah. It's pretty bad. What has been your greatest career moment thus far? You know, just to be able to wear the black and gold and represent the team has always been a dream of mine. And to live that every day is, you know, something I cherish. And we have arrived. <laughs> See, they put a brand new turf field in here, you know, and it was really the uh, the entry or stepping stone for me to get into tackle football. Brantford's a good football community, um, you know, so we had a lot of support from the community around, and it was just a great atmosphere to play in. Here in this section right here, you can see the spot is where they'll be putting a statue of me on Bison's Field. I think it's in the plan for like 2019 or something, but it'll. Uh, can't wait to see it. Yeah, neither can I. We were just talking about uh, film and lifting tomorrow as their bye week kind of comes to an end. I watched a video on YouTube of you at Mount Allison yeah. squatting 600 plus pounds. 630 pounds, That's people. Like <laughs> 
Can you do that now? No. We say squat over any other exercise. Squat over anything. And I can squat 110 pounds, so. That's good. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go off to uh, Empire Communities where I actually grew up in Winfield here in Brantford. Awesome schools in that area. And uh, we're going to go check it out. Uh, Mike's parking the car and we're actually going to surprise some residents with, uh, you know, our awesome presents and uh, tie cat tickets. Hi, Tie Cat fans. I just wanted to say welcome home to Winfield. All the kids in the area were so excited to meet you today. We had such a fun time. Like we were saying at the Empire Sales Building, now we have tickets to give away to one of those special families that we just saw. So, uh, are you excited? Very excited. Here we go. Here too. So we wanted to drop off, we have some tickets here that we wanted to drop off for the upcoming games in Saskatchewan. You guys want them? Thank you. Nice You're work. welcome. All right guys, well I think we had we had a great day, Mike and I. Great day. Great day. High Fantastic. Five. Now how weird this is everyone. Look at this house. I kind of miss it, but these the people living in it now are probably like, what's going on out front? So I think we should go now. How did um, Brantford, I guess growing up here, Brantford. mold you into someone who who's really into uh, giving back to the community? I don't know, it was just my upbringing. Uh, you know, PCI was a great high school that I went to where we were heavily involved in the community. And then, uh, I mean, it just, when I was able to get on with the Thai Cats, it was, you know, I just wanted to continue to get back and you know help out in any way I could. Uh, Mike and I had a great time coming back to Brantford, right, Mike? Love Brantford. Love Brantford. Okay, stay tuned for next week's episode of Beyond the Stripes. I mean, I had a great time with Empire Communities and uh, get ready for the July 19th game, everyone. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Empire Communities. Visit them at empirecommunities.com.